Hello, I'm Laura, the library lady, and welcome to today's episode. I have a very special guest with me today, boys and girls. You know who he is. It's my dad. Hi, dad. How are you? Hi, I'm good. What are you doing, dad? I'm reading. Uh, I enjoy that, and I learn a lot from reading. Wow, that's great. Can you tell me a little bit about where you're reading? I'm reading in what I call my reading cove, C-O-V-E. It's a small part of a particular room, but as you can see, it has a nice chair. There's a lot of light. We got flowers all around, and uh, I just enjoy coming in here and reading in my cove. Great. Well, can you tell us what you're reading right now? Right now, I happen to be reading The Baltimore Sun. We live approximately 13 miles from downtown Baltimore. So, of course, we follow the news and the activities in the Baltimore area. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, what's the favorite? We've talked about newspapers before on this series. What is your favorite section of the newspaper and why? I usually like the uh, first part of the paper that has all the current events and changes and things that are happening. Uh, I also sometimes read the sports page. I'm kind of a football fan, so I follow that. Uh, but really, I read the whole paper, and you never know where a good article is going to appear. Wow. How long have you been reading the newspapers, Dad? Well, I am the ripe age of 80. I think I've been reading the newspapers since I was about 15, 16, but before that, I read children's books. I had fun with a lot of the characters that young people read at that time. And it all started by learning my ABCs. Then I learned words. And then I was able to understand paragraphs. And reading is so important. It takes you from where you are to anywhere in the world. You learn about things that you couldn't find out about by going there. You have to read about them. And uh, I, I just enjoy the adventure of reading. Wow, that's really great, Dad. Can you tell the boys and girls a little bit about how you used to work for a newspaper? Yes. Uh, when I turned the age of 20, I got a job with the Detroit newspaper in Michigan. Uh, we were part of the distribution or circulating the newspapers. And I really got into reading the paper from front page to the last page, working at that job. And that stayed with me my whole life. And what exact job did you do in distribution, Dad? Well, I was uh, a 20-year-old kind of rookie, and I would help them load the trucks, put the papers on the trucks, and we would take them out to various neighborhoods, and we would sell the papers. Now... As time went on, I got promoted from uh, a role they call the jumper, the assistant, to the driver. Okay, so you used to drive the news trucks. Yes. Excellent. Do you, you do, is there other types of things that you like to read? Yes. I'm really um, a nonfiction uh, reader. That's because... I think things that happen in real life are more exciting and challenging 
than, than fiction. That just happens to be my choice. So I read uh, all kinds of books and sometimes I find uh, real fulfillment by reading about people. This happens to be Theodore Roosevelt. And you can see it's quite a volume, but it's, it's rewarding to understand how other people look at situations, their personality traits, and their history. Can you tell the boys and girls who Theodore Roosevelt was in I'm case sorry. they don't know? Theodore Roosevelt was the president of the United States. I think the period was like 1904, somewhere in there. And one of the things he did, which I admire, uh, he set up the national parks, Yellowstone and a whole host of parks followed that. And that was to preserve it for American citizens to see what various parts of the country were like. Excellent. So um, we want to thank you, um, Dad, for being our guest today. And we want to remind our boys and girls that fiction books are books that are make-believe. So if you love fiction, you're more than welcome to read fiction books. And I've read a lot of them to you as Laura the Library. Uh, but my dad likes nonfiction which are books about true people and uh, true events. And that book that dad has is actually what we call a biography. So a book that is about a person is called a biography. So I did not feature biographies, but I did have a nonfiction week. So I want to thank you, dad, for being here, uh, boys and girls, moms and dad. This is Father's Week as we lead up to uh, Father's Day during our final week of shows uh, due to COVID-19. And I want to thank my father for a very interesting time. And boys and girls, if you don't have a reading cove or a reading spot in your house where it's quiet and comfortable, where you can read, ask your parents to help you set one up in your room or somewhere where you live. All right, boys and girls, let's say goodbye to dad. Bye, dad. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you.